Hello YouTube! I want to talk to you today about what to do if you don't know what your dream is. And this may seem like a silly question, but it's really not. I think there are a lot of people out there, myself included a few years ago, who just feel very adrift, very directionless, and their days are somewhat empty, yet deep down inside of themselves, they know that if they had some type of grand passion, or if they knew what they wanted to go for, they really believe that they would go for it. But they don't know what that is. So, and I think this is the case of a lot of people coming out of high school, coming out of college, um, or even just in the middle of unsatisfying careers. So what do you do if you find yourself in a situation where you don't even know what you want to go for? Um, I have one answer, and there are many answers, but this one is, it's pretty fun actually. And what I did was I decided to drift a bit. I decided to just let go of the stress of needing a plan, of needing to answer the question, oh, so what are you, you know, what are you doing next year? What's, what's your plan? Um, I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna float. And I'm going to trust that if I do a few simple things, I will actually sharpen and focus the direction of my life through floating, actually. And what I started doing was redefining what my likes and dislikes were. Um, it was a really fun process. I remember just, I mean, eating alive. I remember just sitting down and writing to myself and saying, you know what, Sarah, what you need to do now you're out of college, you're in a nannying job, you, you're feeling like, no, you want your life to have more meaning, but you, know, you don't know what to do or where to go. What you need to do is enjoy wild strawberries. That's what I wrote. And for me, that was go away fly. That was very significant because to me, it meant slowing down, enjoying the moment, um, bathing myself in my senses, and just really getting reconnected to pleasure and to enjoyment because that ultimately is what pursuing a dream gives you. It gives you a feeling of satisfaction, a feeling of delight, a feeling of I am so excited to wake up today because I know that today is going to be another day of following and living my dream. And you get to go to bed at night feeling filled and contented as well. And for me, I had to start small. I had to just enjoy strawberries. I had to figure out what my favorite brand of tea was. I had to spend hours and hours doing nothing, just wandering the woods. And all throughout this entire process, I just had the trust that eventually one day, I would just be gathering all my likes and just rejecting gently, you know, my dislikes letting it, those just fade out of my life and not feeling like I had to conform to what society wants. Because society, especially ours, is so conforming. You know, telling you uh, what to eat, what to drink, what to wear, what art to admire, what music to listen to. And no wonder that we feel lost and adrift. So don't be afraid to take the time to just figure out who you are. Even if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, we are very, we're shape-shifting beings. We need to stay updated. We change every day. Um, so eventually, I, I, I don't know how long this process lasted. I don't want to put a time limit on it for you. But um, by the end of my year of nannying, I told the people I was working for, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't work anymore. I've decided to move to Ireland. And that's what I did. And so many amazing things happened after that. And you know what? It didn't end there. That's what happens is that I feel like our souls are kind of like hermit crabs. You know, the hermit crab, when it gets, when it grows bigger, it needs to find a new shell. And when it finds that bigger shell, it grows bigger again too. And then that shell starts to feel tight. So Ireland, to me sounded so huge and such a life-changing decision, but eventually that shell 
actually started to feel tight. My dreams had gotten broader again, and I went after them again, which I'll make more videos about that later, because as you can see, well, maybe you don't know. I don't think there are birch trees in America, in Ireland, sorry. <laughs> so I'm back in the US, and uh, yeah, I'll make more videos about that later. So don't be afraid if you don't know what your dream is right now. Just focus on eating wild strawberries. <laughs>